This is StreetPainting.tv, your street painting video channel. StreetPainting.tv, and I'm speaking with Jeannie Burns from West Palm Beach, Florida. Hi, Jeannie. How are you today? Hi, Wendy. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. You've got a really interesting uh, street painting piece here, and I want to ask you a little bit about your history of street painting. Okay. How long have you been doing this? Uh, about 12 or 13 years. I think about 13 years. And how did you first come across it and get involved? Um, in where I live, there, a community just south of where I live, Lake Worth, Florida, has their street painting festival. And one year, I stumbled across their inaugural event. Uh, it just as I was walking downtown, I said, what's going on? And I went to investigate and saw what it was. And then I learned a little bit more that they were having a festival annually. So the next year, I kept my eyes peeled. And when they were calling for artists, I appeared. So, Are you a professional artist when you're not street painting? No, I'm a graphic designer, which is, you know, it's, it's, an avo it's a vocation, but it's not, it's not the same kind of thing as this. So this gives me a chance to do things a lot more creative when I'm not doing it for someone else. I'm not creating for a client. I'm creating for what I want to do. And what do you think of um, street painting festivals? Do you, do you like working on public in front of all these people? Yeah, it's, it's kind of a kick because as a graphic designer, you work in anonymity always. You're, you're projecting your client's uh, point of view and their message when you're doing this. You know, you get the pats on the back or the, the, the whispered, uh-oh, she kind of screwed that up. I mean, you, you get immediate feedback, and that's a rush. It's great. What kind of images do you like to work on? Is it something that you design yourself or reproduction? Well, to be honest, this is the first time I've done one of my own. Typically, I do classical reproductions, but because they told me that this was going to be a 3D festival, they were encouraging people to do that, I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to try one, so I created my own. It looks great, by the way. Thank you. How uh, tra challenging was it to do your first 3D piece? Um, well, it, it's one of those things you're working without a net, so you, uh, uh, it was challenging, but it's okay. I, you know, I, I didn't humiliate myself publicly, so that's a good thing. It's okay. Let me ask you what you enjoy most about street painting. Well, to be honest, what I like is, is real early, even before the people start getting here, there's kind of like a hum on the street where all the artists are getting started. There's a, a vibe that's really hard to explain, but there's definitely a vibe of all this creative energy um, just kind of humming together. That's all I can say. Do you have any kind of uh, like interesting or like sensational stories about things people have said or done at festivals that you've been at? I can tell you one that happened yesterday. This is a picture of my husband, who is not with me, but he's back at home in West Palm Beach, and a woman, a lovely woman, dressed very nicely, leaned over, and she said, who is this supposed to be? I said, well, it's my husband. And she looked around, she said, is he here? So, that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, even if he was, he's married, so there. <laughs> What is the, your favorite street painting that you've worked on uh, to date? Well, it's one I did actually about four or five years ago. It, I can't even remember the artist's name, but it was a, a, a man in a turban. And the turban was very complicated and very colorful. And the man had bright green eyes. And, and people would come from across the way saying, I saw the eyes and had to come over. So that was my favorite one to date. Can you tell me if audiences diff, uh, differ from one festival to the next? Um, not really. I can, I can say they're all, they're all very kind. I mean, I, I really have never heard an unkind word. If they're saying it, they're waiting till I'm out of earshot. <laughs> so, I mean, even, even in Italy, they, they would come up and they'd whisper in your ear, complimenti, complimenti, which means my compliments. It's lovely. So, you know, it's, 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 it's the appeal seems to be universal without language barriers. So. Great. Now I'm going to ask you some technical questions about some of your work. And with this street painting, how did you uh, start? Do you work from top to bottom or do you work from the center out? Um, I always start with the eyes. Um, my feeling on that is I have to connect to it first and then I start with the eyes and if I get the eyes down, then I move on. And, and this one I work from the top down. So I wasn't stepping all over it, which I knew would be a factor here, but I always start with the eyes, and I typically do portraits, so... Okay, great. What is the most difficult aspect of street painting? Oh, there's so many. Uh, the texture, 
Here, although, the texture is like butter. It's, this is the best surface I've ever worked on anywhere. It's lovely. But texture, the heat can be a factor. And in Florida, especially, it can be a factor. But it's, it's, this is pretty hot here, <laughs> too, when you get down and the heat radiates. You know, the temperature that radiates off of the pavement is pretty intense. So that's really the worst of it. How do, you, um, how do you deal with textures that are maybe not so friendly for your hands? Like, well, how do you work with that? Um, in some places, you insist on putting a tempera, paint, a tempera base down. You put tempera paint down, which is a water-soluble material, and it washes away. So you can put that down as a base, and then you put your chalk on top of that, and it gives your chalk something to hold on to rather than just getting blown away with a difficult surface. You'd use a lot more chalk if you couldn't do that. And has it ever rained while you've been street painting? Oh God, yes. It's heartbreaking. But you know, you know the, the artists seem to be uh, very resilient. You know, once it starts raining, they wait and see what kind of damage there is, and then they go back in and they start all over if that's necessary. And you're from Florida, but you're ending up in uh, San Rafael this weekend doing a festival. What made you come to this festival? Yeah. Well, some of the uh, some of the artists that are, are working here and some of the featured artists have been to the street painting festival in Lake Worth, and they encouraged me to come out to the West Coast and try a festival out here. And so I have done another festival uh, down in Santa Barbara, but this one they say is the creme de la creme, and it really is. I can understand why they say that. So you're really enjoying yourself? Oh, I'm having a blast. Aren't you? Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to sign off now. Jeannie, thanks for talking to streetpainting.tv. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for coming by.